I know you've been watching the thirsty side of TikTok, but before you do a nut, did you know that some of those girls don't even exist? Today, I'm going to show you how to create hyper-realistic AI influencer models, and that includes images and videos. First, what we need to do is source an image. You can take an image from the internet, but I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend that you actually create your own model from scratch using stable diffusion. So I already have this code running and I will leave the code link in the description or in the comments. And basically what you need to do is first here click on connect and once it has been connected, as you can see it's still connecting, then you want to click on this play button so that it actually starts to run the code and that you get the URL that you need. So now that we got the URL that we need, as you can see it's here this one running on public URL. But before we continue, I have to give credits to this guy for creating this code. So now that we are here, what we need to do is click on advanced and here you can change the resolution, number of image generated, uh, do some negative prompts. You here have like speed, quality, extreme speed. I would recommend that you stay on speed. If you go to style, you need to have these three turned on to get the model you want. You can play around with the other settings. When it comes to model, make sure that it's under Juggernaut XL and under advanced, just don't touch anything. So let's create our model. So I have created a prompt realistic portrait photo beautiful woman with blonde hair, big boobs, hair is slightly faded, Swedish influencer, blue eyes, no makeup, Instagram. And now that I have written that, we need to click on generate and you need to wait a few minutes for it to come up with the images. And as you can see, this is the process of creating our model from scratch. Okay, now the images are done. The only thing that he left out is <clears throat> yes, uh, but anyways, even without it, this model looks very, very realistic and has the things that I've described it. Now, what we want to do is save both images to downloads. So what we need to do is click on input image and upscale or variation basically means that you increase the quality of the photo, but that doesn't interest you at the moment. What interests you is the image prompt. Here, we need to upload our model face because based on the images we provide this software, it's going to generate images just like that. So let's click on this, upload the first one and upload the second one. And now basically, if you want more images of your model, you can keep the same prompt or you can just at the end add like sitting on a chair in a park. Because if you delete the previous prompt, there could be some slight differences between the model. Great. This time it has included the uh, biggie biggie. Uh, and as you can see, these models look pretty much the same as these models. So what you can do is also download these images and feed them to the AI here below. And one thing I didn't mention this in paint or out paint. Basically, you upload the image here. You go to method, you have improve detail and modify content and it will basically improve the eyes, the nose, hands or whatever if they do look kind of weird. As you can see in our case everything looks pretty much normal and nothing is out of the ordinary. Now that we have created our model, you might be wondering how are we going to create videos if she doesn't exist? Well, we need to find similar models to the AI girl we just generated because we are going to borrow their videos and just do a face swap with our model. So let's find some models on Instagram. By the way, while you're at it, give me a follow. Okay, great. I have found a girl online that looks similar to our model. And basically now I will just download some reels and do the face swap. Now that we found the reels, we need to open another Google Colab notebook. Now that we have it opened, and I will also leave a link to it in the comments or in the description, we want to click on connect and then we need to wait for it until it connects. And now that it's connected, we need to click the run button here. And then we want to click on run anyway. So what you need to do is you actually need to upload the reels you just downloaded. So you want to click on this file and you want to click on this file to upload. 
Now make sure that your video isn't named as mine because your video can contain any spaces or special characters. So first let's rename them. Let's call it video 1 and let's call it video 2. Now go back, click the upload and click video 1 upload then allow and then let's upload the video 2 again. Now that you have uploaded the videos you also need to upload the source image. Again make sure that there are no spaces or special characters. I will use this one and click on upload. Second step is once you have uploaded all of your things here we need to click on download model and run this thing. And from here you need to come to the deep fake section and we need to rename this part. So what you do is go to the video one, click on the three dots, click on copy path, then we will come here, delete everything here, paste it and then we also want to remove this content because we wanted to use our model face. Same thing, go to image, copy path, we come here, we delete it and once you have done that, click on this play button and wait for it to do its magic. Now that the process is done, you want to come back and refresh the files. So click on this to refresh it. Now that the process is over, as again, man, refresh the panel and we have swap.mp4. This is the video that the AI created, click on the three dots and let's click on download. Then let's wait for it to get downloaded. So let me show you the result. So on the left is with our model face and on the right is without. So let's play the both videos and you can definitely see that the model eyes is not aren't that blue but it has the smile, that nose, uh, the lip, the lips are also done. Now, if you did notice here, you need to be aware if you are downloading reels and that person covers their face, there's a possibility that you will get something like this. But what you can do is, for example, I would just cut this video up until this minute and I just wouldn't use this last part uh, because that's just the easy solution. If you want it to be perfect, that's going to be a lot, a lot of work. So I recommend you do that. So let's watch it one more time. So this is our model. This is the video they downloaded as you can see looks pretty good to me and that's it now you can create your instagram account tiktok account start posting and making money if you want to see how i got a paid sponsored brand deal with a fake instagram model just as i created here click on this video